In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about what center state drilling does and why they're the best in the business. Dan McMahon is the owner and operator of center state drilling. It's a job that he's been doing for 30 years. Let's take a look at a job Dan did recently to show you how easy it is to get fresh, clean bore water when you know how. So the first and most crucial step is finding the very best place to drill. Okay, basically what we're going to do here today is we're going to divine where the water is um, and find the location of two streams crossing one on top of the other. So what I'll do is turn around with a wire. I'm facing water and it dips. That's the edge of a stream there. And that's the middle of a stream going through there. So now we want to find another one. And that's the edge of a stream there. And that's the middle. So they're both going to cross one over the top of the other, right about here. So that's where we're going to drill a hole and get lots and lots of water. If you just drill over there on one stream, that's all you're going to get is one stream. Or over there, etc., etc. But if you come in here, you're going to get two streams from the one hole, which is going to give you the best result. I can drive a truck, I swear. <laughs> Now that we've worked out where the water is, the first step is to drill down through a couple of feet of topsoil, then down through what's called unconsolidated overburden, sand, gravel and clay. Next, Dan puts some large diameter casing down to create support so that when he hits water, it doesn't just wash out and collapse the ball. Then it's on to the real thing, drilling down to your water. For this, we use a hammer drill to get through the rock. For this job, Dan drilled through yellow sandstone, which is pretty soft. Then at about 12 metres, he hit blue mudstone. Most jobs are completed in a day, this job took about four hours, which is pretty typical. But if we've got to go deeper, it can obviously take longer. We'll give you an estimate of the time when we come to give you a quote. So at 18 metres, that blue mudstone turned to blue sandstone, which is a harder rock and where we get our water. Because back in time when the earth here was pushed up by volcanic forces, the harder rock was the one that fractured and it's these fractures that allow the underground water to actually flow through. So getting to that blue sandstone is the key to getting to your water. The next step is to put really good quality casing in. We slot the bottom length so that the water can get in along the whole length of the aquifer. We put a seal above that to stop material falling down into the slots. And we case the bore all the way to the bottom. We used Australian made casing, which is obviously more expensive than the cheap stuff that comes out of China and India, but it conforms to Australian standards. It's lead free, it's made in Melbourne, and it's got a lifetime guarantee, and it supports Australian jobs. Cheap casing is made of quite inferior materials. Um, it doesn't conform to Australian standards and it's very, very brittle, it's quite thin. So in a lot of instances that can collapse under hydrostatic pressure. If there's any movement in the ground, 
it can, it can crush it, uh, and then your pump's stuck in the hole. Your bore is basically useless. You've got to get someone in to pull all the casing out, if they can get it out, re-drill the bore, and then re-case re it with decent casing. So you've done your dough on the first hole, which you thought you might have been getting cheap, but it's not so cheap. Do it properly the first time, or just don't do it. Now we run an airline down the hole, and we blow compressed air down the hole to blow the water out, which drags in any sediment and cuttings. We continue blowing the water out this way until the water runs clean. If you don't do this, dirty water will block and kill your pump. Once the bore is clean, we shut the rig down, we pull the airline out, we grout the surface and we've got a seal down below it so nothing can get in and, and block the water off. It's uh, going to be safe from contamination. We've got a cap on top of the bore. As you see it now, it's all ready for the pump to be installed. So basically when we arrive, we've done the divining and we found out where there's two streams crossing one on top of the other. That's the best place to drill, because if there's enough water on the top stream, you stop there. You don't have to go down and pick up the second stream. But if there's not enough there, you've got the option of going down to the second stream. In this case, fortunately for the customer, there was plenty of water on the top stream. And that was at about 20 metres. We got into a good flow of that and we ran it all the way down to the bottom of that stream, which was 24 metres. He's got around about 1,000, 1,200 gallons an hour, which is quite a lot of water. We offer a no water, no charge. Now, some other people do that as well, but if they get you five litres an hour, they say that's water, you're paying for it. I don't work like that. I'll guarantee you a usable amount of water, which in my opinion is at least 15 litres a minute. If I don't get water, I've done my dough, you're not happy, no one's happy, then I go and drill another hole somewhere else and see if we can find water there. But with the water divining, we get about a 95% success rate. Uh, and it's quite easy to pull up and say, well, where do you want the bore? We'll put it anywhere you want. But you could drill over here and have to go 80 metres, but if you drill here, right on top of where the two streams are crossing, you've got all your water at 24 metres. So it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of messing around. I've been doing this personally for well over 30 years. My father started on the Snowy River scheme. Uh, when they went through, that's where he got his introduction to drilling, and it's been a family business ever since. Just read the literature that I've given you, look on the website, look on the Facebook page, watch this DVD and just study it all because you're going to be spending quite a few dollars. It's not like you're spending a couple of hundred dollars, you're going to be spending thousands. So you want to know exactly what's going to happen and what you're going to get and how things are going to work. And if you've got any queries or questions or anything after seeing the website, the Facebook page, the DVD, give me a call straight away and I'll talk you through it and I'll address any issues that you've got. Um, I want you to be happy because if you're happy, I'm happy. Everyone's happy.